two of our adventure around the Pacific Marine Circle Route. We're going to check out of our amazing motel. Uh, dodgy on the outside, not so bad on the inside. Remember last night the stove didn't work? That's definitely a downside in the review. But you know, whatever, we made it work. Uh, everyone's alive and healthy and happy. Nobody's gotten hurt. Everyone's having a good time and uh, nobody's upset. So we're following the rules and we're gonna go hit up the grocery store and then we're gonna make our way slowly to Port Renfrew, stopping along the way, Ferry Lake, whatever else we can find. Let's go. So, let's go. How was your fine Canadian breakfast? It's a bit sloppy. That's a cool train. Oh. We got some blue. Some blue beverages. So breakfast is done. We've got the driving gloves on. She doesn't have official driving glasses, but that'll come later. So back on the road. Let's hit up this Pacific something highway that goes somewhere through. Wanda Fuca Provincial Park. There's only two cars in the parking lot and one of them is ours. So that's super fun. Yeah. So we're going to go explore this area. It is 47 kilometers. We're not doing all 47 kilometers. It goes from right here at Botanical Beach all the way to China Beach. Uh, we'll be looking for old growth forests. Hey, maybe we can spot some whales. There's some amazing tidal pools. Oh, and... babe, babe, if we're lucky, we might see some sea lions that are hauled up on the shoreline, basking in the sun. Rawr, sea lions. Uh, you know what, uh, one of the signs up there had made some really good points. You gotta be careful about when you're coming through the forest here, there are creatures everywhere and we need to respect that. We definitely don't want to feed them. Uh, we gotta definitely keep our eye out for them. And, um... Oh, did you see that? See, this is a chance we gotta take off. We're out of here. Hey, on this trail there's some informative signs where you can read about different things. Slugs, bugs, and salamanders. Did you know that the millipede has cyanide in it, which um, smells like almonds? Stay away. Danger. Oh! Oh, what's that? I think that's a wandering salamander. They're indigenous to this region and you might see them scurrying up a tree. It's time. For another toilet review. Here we go. Uh, Provincial Park does a pretty good job. This is a quite a large. Uh, for for an outhouse, I'm gonna give it a solid four out of five. Uh, not bad. Now I'd like to be alone. was constructed thanks to the Peshida and Tsuk First Nations uh, youth teams. So thank you for this beautiful trail and for allowing us on your land. Here 
here we are at Botany Bay. What a beautiful site this one is. Dropping knowledge bombs. Speechless. It's amazing. It really is. It's beautiful. Nothing excites me more than a quality boardwalk. Let's go! We have made it to an uh, amazing botanical beach. Uh, as one of the objectives was to get to here and we have made it. One of the things to note about this beach though is you do want to get here at as low tide as possible. We may have actually missed that window. I mean, it is very, very nice, but the splendor around here is, it's got these tidal pools that you can look into. All of different interesting creatures. And well, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to enjoy the sheer beauty of the area. Just on our way back up from Botanical Beach. If you want to continue on the Juan de Fuca Trail, there's a map here that shows you all the different spots you can go to. And this is interesting. Uh, they tie orange balls on the trees to signify where there are um, exits from the beach to the trail with high tides and during storms. Beaches may be cut off from the trails. So if you need to get back onto the trail, just look for the orange balls. Always good to have a good pair of walking shoes if you're gonna come out onto the west coast. Let's go. We are at Port Renfrew, the pub and the pier. We thought we'd just take a quick little peek, show you around the pier, see what it has to offer, get a better sense of the perspective before we uh, head on down to our next destination, which is Sombrio Beach. Uh, but otherwise, on this glorious October the 18th here in uh, Port Renfrew, a spectacular day. Let's do a quick cost analysis here. So, uh, and the grand total was thirty one dollars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay, so we saw a sign on the main road that said Sombrio 400 meters, and then we kept going, and then we looked at a sign going the other way saying Sombrio 400 meters. So then it must have been in between those two signs. So we have made it to Sombrio Beach. Uh, yeah, the signage wasn't that clear as maybe was to be expected from the last time I was here, but uh, fantastic. Time for another toilet review. Here we are at Sombrio Beach. Let's see how we're doing. Looks like somebody pissed all over the floor in here. Overall toilet review. Uh, I'm gonna give it a low score in there because there was pee all over the floor. Okay, well, we are going to go find a waterfall. Laura has been sniffing it out, and I think she might know where it is. So let's go see if we can find this hidden waterfall. So to find the hidden waterfall, we the bottom of the um, trailhead for Sombrio. Fork in the road, you can either go left to go to East Sombrio or right to go to West Sombrio. And then arrive on the beach, which is where we are now. And you're gonna, your first landmark is to go ascend upward. Okay. So let's see how that works out. So we're now a couple hundred meters farther down the beach. Keep on going. And oh, and look, we have a sea cave here. And I think there's a, oh, there's one of those strange West Coast wandering salamanders that we had talked about. So much wildlife here on the West Coast. We have found the creek. It is running up into the forest right over there. So I think we maybe have found where we're supposed to go. So uh, next step, go explore the creek, I guess. Go up there. Yeah. So we're at the entrance to the, oh, sorry about my hair, everybody. We're at the entrance to the hidden waterfall. I'm gonna see if there's any gold in this here creek. Let's see if you found anything. How's it going, McGinty? Yeah. Oh, it's looking like a few colors in there. Oh, wow. Ooh, I got one, two, three, four, five colors. There's some gold in this creek. Shh, don't be telling anybody though. Okay. That was glorious. It was so nice in there and it was beautiful and magical and the light was wonderful and we recharged our power crystals in the waterfall and... Met an old gold miner <laughs> and he gave me a piece of gold. So yeah. there's that, yeah. There's that.
How was the drive? Oh, so fun. This place is pretty cute. Yeah. Golf balls. Really? Hi. Hi. Do you sell ice? We do not. Yeah. It's the only thing we need. Uh, we no one. ice. Welcome to Fossil Bay Resort. Right here is where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights. Two nights. Yeah. And yeah, take your envelope. Dana Hawks. See that? Oh, so nice. Okay, we have arrived at the destination. We have quite a lot of stuff to unpack. So let's get ourselves a wheelbarrow and start packing up to head to the road. <laughs> because first and foremost, look at this beautiful view. This is our individual view, and basically all the cabins have the exact same view. There's only, there's only six cabins, and each one is very private. You can't see um, your neighbor. And this is where we will be spending the evening. Come check this out. Yeah. Come inside. There's a um, fireplace. First thing cozy when you're inside. We do have to bring our own firewood. And we're going to have a fire later. Uh, there's a wonderful king size bed here. We're we'll trying to do the bounce test. Oh, yeah, so much better than last night. There's a couch here for relaxing. And they do have whatever TV. There's a nice map here with like some um, a trash that you might like. There we are right there. We're gonna hit up Sand Cut tomorrow and then you can see here Sombrio. That's where we came from earlier and Botanical Beach. We were there too. Port Renfrew's there and last night we stayed up over here. We have a full kitchen which is glorious. Everything you could want and need to use all the utensils and things so you don't have to bring everything yourself. There's cups and bowls and these nice plastic plasticware for when you're in the hot tub, nice and safe. We appreciate that. Microwave cutting board, oh, like salt and pepper sugar, some basic things. And fridge and freezer. And here we have the bathroom. It's pretty basic. Uh, got some soap and junk like that, but lots of towels and you know a hair dryer and bath mat. Tub shower, combo, whatever, place to use the loo. And there you go. This place is fantastic. It's fully equipped. Uh, it's one big large room with an absolutely amazing view. Not a good place to come if you're trying to invite friends and have like a big hot tub party. Uh, Fossil Bay Resort, check it out. It's Time to go in the hot tub. Everything you've been waiting for right now is about to happen. Oh yeah, here it is. Testing it out. Why am I on the wind? Yeah, it's warm. We're gonna enjoy some hot tub. So you guys go do what you're gonna do for a while and then we'll see you in a bit. Time for some dinner. I think we're gonna call it. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs> 